My name is McKenna and I am the Marketing and Emerging Technology Librarian at the Huron Public Library. In this video, I'm going to walk you through signing into the Libby app. Uh, I'll show you how to search for materials uh, and then I'll show you how to look for digital magazines on the app because some people don't know that those are on there. So if you aren't familiar with Libby, Libby is an app for audiobooks, ebooks, and digital magazines. First, you have to install the Libby app on your device. You can also go to Libby through your internet browser, which there's a link for that on our website if you would rather do that and use it on your computer. But once you have the app installed, tap the Libby app. It's going to ask you for your library card number and your PIN number. Yes. First, you're going to have to search for your library. Type in Huron Public Library. And you want the one that says Clevenet here. And then we're going to enter library account details. So this is where you put in your card number. And then your PIN. Your PIN is typically the last four digits of your phone number that we have on file. If you have any trouble with any of these numbers, just give us a call and we can look them up and reset them for you. Uh, you have the option to rename your card, so you can name it uh, McKenna's library card or whatever, but I'm not going to do that. All right, so we're logged into Libby. On the bottom, you'll see you have a library and a shelf option. We're going to start with our library because that's what we use to search for items. Shelf is your personal Libby page. So whenever you download a book, it'll take you to right here and that's where you'll find everything that you have downloaded. So we're going to search for a book first in our library. The search bar is up in the left hand corner. If you don't really know what you're looking for, you can also browse this page because they have uh, changing sections on here. So seasons readings, you got your social justice books, and then other popular books down all the way down. We're going to go back up search um, and I'm just gonna look for James Patterson I hope I spelled it right and you can look for title or author now this is I know James Patterson has a lot in here um, I wanted to show you the difference between an ebook and an audiobook so let me find the audiobook here. Of course, there's a ton of them and no audiobooks. All right, these ones right here have the little audio symbol. So those are audiobooks. So you're going to want to be careful when you're looking for a specific one because sometimes it's hard to tell whether it's audio or ebook. So these ones are audiobooks because they have the little audio symbol. But we're gonna download an ebook today. So I'm just gonna pick a random one. Um, some of these here, especially new James Patterson's, it's gonna say place a hold instead of borrow. The books in the actual library are limited by how many we have. And it's the same with digital books. Uh, there's only a limited number that you can check out. So some of the more popular ones you'll have to place a hold on, but we're gonna pick this random one here. Once you find the book that you want, you can hit borrow and then borrow again. And it says at the top, you have 21 days to read it before it automatically returns. Um, now we have the options to manage notifications, disable on this device or not now. I don't want any notifications. And then you can open the book and read it. You can keep browsing or you can go to your shelf and look at everything that you have checked out. I'm going to open the book so I can show you what it looks like. You also have the option to send this book to your Kindle device. If you do that, it's going to take you to your Amazon account. So there's an, an extra step with that. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but if you have any questions about it, just give me a call. I'm going to open it on the Libby app. 
And then you can start reading right away. Now you can jump to chapters if you want. If you hit the middle of the screen, it'll show you how much progress you have made. And if you hit this little A up in the right hand corner, you can also change your font size. Where'd it go? There we go. So you can make your font size bigger. You can make it smaller. You can also change the color of the background so that it's easier to read at nighttime. And then there's a couple other options that you can use to, uh, to, to customize the book. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. So that's your library. And again, you click library down at the bottom to go back to this beginning screen. You can also change your preferences for searches. You can select books or audiobooks if you only wanna search for one or the other. You can search in a different language or a different language or you can search in English. Uh, you can also search by audience. You can search for kids books, teen books or adult books. I'm going to close out of that. Now I'm going to show you the shelf. So the shelf, like I said, this is your personal page. Uh, it'll show you everything that you have checked out currently and everything that you have open right now. So I have all these things checked out and I'm looking through them. Uh, if you click on loans, this is everything that you currently have loaned. If you click on holds, that's everything that you currently have a hold on for. I don't have any holds. And then if you click on tags, you can also tag books with the thumbs up, thumbs down, and it shows other readers um, if you like that book or not. search settings. So one more thing I wanted to show you is this explore tab over on the right. If you don't really know what you want to read, this is a helpful area for you to go to because it'll show you, for instance, we can click on what's popular, all popular titles, and you can see all these popular titles right now. A lot of these might be um, you might have to place a hold on those just because they're popular. But you can also search for just kids. You can search for teens. Got mysteries and thrillers, uh, what's new. And I tell people this is where you're going to find your magazines too. So this is the magazine section of the Libby app. You can also, um, once again, you can search different preferences, just like on the other search. If you're looking for a specific magazine, click on all titles on the right-hand side. And then you can refine your search also on the right-hand side. And you can sort by popularity, relevance, release date, uh, or you can just search by title if you are looking for a specific title. I'm going to search for popular ones. So these are the most popular issues of magazines that are on Libby right now. And I already have one borrowed, but I'm going to borrow another one just so I can show you. And the magazines take a little bit longer to load, as you can see just because there's so many pictures in them. But once it's loaded, it looks just like a regular magazine with all the ads and pictures included. And it's really nice too, because you can grab it like just like on your smartphone and zoom in closer. All right, so we're gonna go back to library. One more thing I wanted to show you, it's like a little secret Libby thing. If you click on this little Libby head in your settings right here, you can change the different skin tone of the little Libby girl, which I think is really cool. So as you can see, Libby has a vast catalog that you can use 
and it's especially convenient now that the library is closed for the time being. Uh, if you have any questions, you can call the library at 419-433-5009. You can also email me at mckenna.lecrone. It's M-C-K-E-N-N-A dot L-E-C-K-R-O-N-E at huronlibrary.org. And I'd be happy to help you. Um, thanks for watching and catch our next video on the Consumer Reports database that you also have access to for free with your library card. That'll be out in January.